Hi everyone, welcome to Madison Not YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about capillary hemangioma. Capillary hemangioma is, a, is of three types. One is salmon patch, strawberry hemangioma and port vein stain. These are the three types of capillary hemangioma. Generally, hemangioma means it is a benign tumor which occurs in the blood. I have already described the video of hemangioma. Please do watch it before watching this. These are the three types, which is salmon patch, strawberry hemangioma and port vein stain. The salmon patch it, it is present at the birth time of birth and it is commonly occurs in nape of the neck, backside of the neck, face, scalp and limbs. These are the areas which, which are affected by the salmon patch. This is a type of capillary hemangioma. Lesion involves a wide range of skin and it regresses. It also involves skin and it regresses at the age and disappears completely. After some, some years of age, it regresses and completely disappears. Strawberry hemangioma. Strawberry hemangioma is a child who is normal at the birth, but between 1 to 3 weeks of the lesion appears red mark which increases in size to 3 months. First, it is normal at the birth, but after 1 to 3 weeks, there will be a lesion appearing in that and, that, and then the, it increases in size in 3 months. And this is true capillary hemangioma. The lesion is seen more commonly in white girls. It is otherwise known as strawberry hemangioma is true capillary hemangioma. Lesion is seen more in white girls. The lesion is 20 times more common than port vein stain. This is the strawberry hemangioma. This strawberry hemangioma is 20 times more common in than port vein stain. The mostly the strawberry hemangioma lesion occurs mostly in uh, neck and this is, it, it can be palpable and compressible and it is warm with bluish surface. The lesion involves skin, muscle, subcutaneous tissue. Port vein stain. It occurs at the birth and persists throughout the life. It is known as port vein stain. First it occurs at the birth and it persists throughout the life. And it is present as the smooth, flat, reddish, blue or purplish. The lesion is common in head and neck and face. It requires cosmetic coverage which is excision, grafting or laser habilitation. These are the port vein stain. First one is it occurs at the birth and passes throughout the life. It is present at the smooth, flat, reddish, blue or purplish. And the lesion is common in head and neck and face and it requires cosmetic coverage, excision. Because it occurs it is throughout the life, so it requires cosmetic coverage, excision, grafting and laser habilitation. The treatment of this capillary hemangioma, they can be wait and watch treatment policy. The major treatment for this capillary hemangioma is we should wait until the capillary hemangioma regresses. So we should wait because the strawberry hemangioma and salmon patch mostly they regresses on its own except this portal vein stain. So we should wait and watch policy is the first treatment for choice for capillary hemangioma. Antigenic interferon should be given 2A may be useful. Hemangioma with drug resistant CCF can be treated with radiotherapy. When there is the hemangioma with drug resistant, they can be treated with radiotherapy. Rapidly growing hemangioma may need oral and intraoral intrasteroidal therapy. Life threatening platelet trapping may be controlled by cyclophonamide chemotherapy. These are the treatment for this capillary hemangioma thank you if you like this video please like share and subscribe my youtube channel if you have any doubt on it please to comment it if you want more videos please to subscribe thank you